The United States hasn't won a gold medal in this race in 40 years since Melissa Malote. It's the longest current gold medal drought for U.S. swimmers, but that is expected to end tonight. Missy will build that first 50. I said last night I thought she had a great chance at the world record. My opinion has not changed one bit. Her backstroke has looked spectacular this entire competition. That hunter back proved that. And look what she went out in already. Right there at world record pace. Simmons up at the top has great kickouts. Very dangerous, though, in the 200 backstroke. She spends a lot of time underwater, and that could come back and hurt her. She's at the very top of the screen. There's the world record line. Missy does have a 200-meter world record in short course, which means it was set in a 25-meter pool, but still has yet to set any world record in the big pool. And she's ahead of that world record pace right now. At the halfway point, Simmons up there in lane one, running second, and Beisel was in fourth. Beisel just above missing. Boy, she is way out front right now, and at world record pace again, Simmons, I think, is going to fall off. She won't be in it. Keep an eye on Elizabeth Beisel. She's a great last 50 swimmer, but look at Missy Franklin. She's a body length ahead of the field. Anastasia Zuyeva of Russia. Below her in lane six is the next closest to Franklin, who turns for home with a huge lead and is still under the world record pace. Boy, would this be an incredible way for her to end her final individual race. Way out ahead of the field. Beisel's up there in lane four trying to get on the stand and is trying to fight Zuyeva for the silver. Here comes Missy Franklin, well ahead of the world record line. Can she hang on in the final few meters? She's going to get her second individual gold. And this time, it's going to be a world record for Missy Franklin. Battling for the silver, Zuyeva. Beisel gets the bronze.